Hello and welcome back to another weekly update. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. I'm currently losing weight with the one to one diet by Cambridge Weight Plan and I make a video every week on my weigh day, updating you on my weight loss, how my week's been and answering any questions from the previous week. So yeah, this was week four and up until this point I have lost 19 and a half pounds. I'd lost 12 pounds in my first week, I lost four pounds in my second week and I lost two and a half pounds in my third week. And then this week, drum roll please, I lost four and three quarter pounds, taking my total to 24 and a quarter pounds in four weeks. So that is one stone 10 and a quarter pounds in old money. So yeah, absolutely buzzing. Um, you may or may have not seen earlier in the week that I had had like a way in the middle of the week um, and it hadn't really moved, like it was still the same and I was a bit like downtrodden by it. It kind of like made me feel like a little bit like, oh, this is like really tough. Um, I shouldn't have done it. You shouldn't weigh in the week. Don't do it. <laughs> Just don't. Because then obviously I lost nearly five pounds this week. And if I had gone off that scale and been like, oh, I can't be bothered anymore, um, you know, which we do because we get disheartened, then I would never have seen how amazing my weight loss could have been a couple of days later. So, yeah, absolutely buzzing. It's been a really hard week, not from plan. Like, plan makes certain things a lot simpler. So if you're not aware, I've got a nine-month-old little girl called Poppy. Um... And I document our parenting kind of journey over on my main account, Mama to a Wildflower. But she has been going through a sleep regression, which means she wants to get up in the middle of the night, um, leaving me and her dad very, very tired. And tiredness is a massive trigger for me. And I think that identifying what your triggers are is a really big step in your weight loss journey. Because if you don't know what your triggers are and you don't create new habits surrounding them, ultimately this weight loss is not gonna be sustainable long term. So time is something that I'd always known was a bit of a trigger because, you know, if Poppy had been up um, late at night, just dropped a, a um, lamp, sorry. If Poppy had been up late or we'd woken up a lot when she was younger, it'd be like, oh, she have a takeaway tonight. Like, I'm tired, like I can't be bothered. Um, we'll just get a takeaway. So I knew that was a trigger. So whenever I was so tired this week and I was having my products and I was like, oh God, like you just can't be bothered to think. And that's where products are just so helpful in this situation because I don't have to think about what I'm cooking. I don't need to plan it out. I don't need to do any of that. I just need to pick a product up, put it in my gob, drink my water and just clock watch until I can go to bed. Um, which is pretty much what I did <laughs> on those days. I was really tired, but at least I didn't have to like think about what I was going to make and I think that's why I have gone off other plans because there can be so much like food admin around like what fits into certain you know um like sins or like what have you and it can be really overwhelming and when you're knackered trying to sort all that out it's just it's impossible um so having products there that are quick and easy to grab really really helps and I think it's made me then, it's obviously I have my product, but I'm still knackered. Um, I still crave that like sugar hit. So finding other things that distract me or kind of get me through. So like having a shower when Poppy goes to bed to stop me picking between like her going to bed and me going to bed. So having like a nice long shower and, and a facial even when I'm like knackered. Brushing my teeth, because then I'm like, I don't want to eat because I've just brushed my teeth, they're clean. So that's quite a good one literally down in a bottle of water. So I use this bottle, it's 650ml, but a couple of people ask me how many of these I drink a day and I drink about six. So I have between three and a half and four litres of water a day, which is about six of these and like a hot raspberry and elderflower or a golden vegetable, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, and yeah, those are the kind of things I've been doing to try and help. But you know, you get to your way day, you see that loss and you're like, oh, it's just so, so worth it. Like, you can't beat the losses that you get on this site and that keeps you motivated. So I think identifying your triggers, trying to put new things in place to help them um, and realising that it, that day will end, like you'll get to the next day, just keep following plan and you'll get there, um, is key. 
because honestly if I can get through the last week and still be on plan and lose maybe five pounds like you can so so do it because I've had people message me like your shared willpower you're doing amazing which is so so lovely to hear um and it's such a lovely community for support and motivation but anyone can do this like you so so can there's a step to suit everybody whether you want to have conventional food so you want all of that taken away and just have products um it really is just the best and especially if you don't want to think about food you don't want to be counting like how much of something you can have and um, if you want that separation between you and food just to get the weight off um, and obviously there is stabilisation and maintenance at the end of it, which is why when people go, you lose this weight and you put it all back on. Well, yeah, if I go back to eating um, Pringles and throw off shape of breakfast, yeah, I am going to put the weight back on. But if you relearn how to eat and you stabilise your body after having this period of like abstinence from conventional food, you're not going to have that issue. So, yeah, I am... Um, so that is to say anyone can do it. If you want to get the weight off, you want off quick, this is the diet for you. Um, because it's just so easy. It really is so easy. So yeah, still feeling really positive. Had a tough couple of days, but none of that has affected my mood for plan. If anything, I'm more motivated now. So obviously last week I said I wanted to get my two and a half stone by my 30th, which is the 17th of February. Um, so that's about, what, like three weeks away. I think I can do it. I reckon I can do it. I'm really going to try hard to do it. I got £11 to lose to get it. So yeah, my first goal is my two stone. If I could get that next week, I'd be so, so, so buzzing. Um, and obviously, like I said, the amazing thing last week I said was that I knew I'd be in the stone below. And lo and behold, I am. Like, it's just fabulous. So yeah, um, hard week, but fab week for plan. Like, I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned a lot about my um kind of termination willpower and my ability to get through things without counting on food which is a massive massive win i think if you can start learning that you're in control and that you you know if you're a comfort eater you eat when you have any emotion <laughs> that is a very powerful feeling to have that you actually have control um and you can say no and you can use other coping mechanisms to help i think that's what you need to do it's not just about the products in the water you do have to change up here as well that is where the magic will happen so yeah hope everyone else had a good week that this has been a bit of like a rambly all over the place update but also say chef for weight loss motivate for the next week plans as easy as ever so yeah hope you've all had a good week leave your losses below let me know how you got on and yeah as always any questions leave them below and i will look to answer them so i hope everyone else has a good week